because that air is closest to this new low pressure area moving in, spreading wet weather and a lot of cloud up the western side of the country. And even showers in the east will disappear, it's going to be dry but only for a time, because all in all, all of us will see some rain overnight, the wet weather spreading right across the country, and even where most of it clears away, there'll still be some showers down towards the southwest. Here too, are turning increasingly windy overnight, particularly around the west country and along the length of the channel. Not so windy further north, but all areas having a mild night. And as for temperatures tomorrow, well, somewhat disappointing up in parts of Scotland, 13 to 15 Celsius. The brightest spots elsewhere, perhaps nudging 16 or 17. But the wind is going to be one of the main features of tomorrow's weather. Because we're going to see increasingly windy weather moving in across Northern Ireland and around the Irish Sea later in the day. Most of England and Wales will have a really windy, blustery day anyway, with the strongest of the winds down around the Channel, where there may even be some gales for a time. And around these showers too, it's going to get really quite gusty. As for tomorrow morning though, it's going to be dull and wet right across Scotland. Eastern areas may become drier and perhaps even brighter inland for a time. But the north and the west staying cloudy with rain. And the showers gathering to more prolonged spells of rain in Northern Ireland later on too. As for most of England and Wales and the east of Scotland, it's a matter of those heavy showers becoming quite widespread and later on even thundery. Although down across the southwest, later on the winds and the showers beginning to ease. That's only because more rain's on the way, this low pressure zipping across southern Britain during the first part of the weekend, bringing a lot of wet weather eastwards, showers following, the rain in Scotland retreating up towards the north. Although it won't be as cool nor as windy on Sunday, and a little bit brighter, there'll still be some showers around. That's it from me. Good night for now. Here's a question. Why is Sam Hill in jail for murder? When his best friend has confessed to committing the murder himself, and is willing to swap places in jail. Answer, because the Court of Appeal refuses to believe his confession. The Court of Appeal says he's a liar, so he's walking free while his friend is doing time. Tonight, Rough Justice will be looking at all the facts so that you can judge for yourself. BBC One's Rough Justice, tonight at five past 10 on BBC One. There's an ex-cop turned bounty hunter. I know you all have two minutes and already I don't like you. Who's caught a bad guy who's really a good guy. See, that's too bad. I really like you. But the good guy, he's wanted by the mob. I want this guy taken out and I want him taken out fast. And of course the FBI. <laughs> but wait a second, who's this? <laughs> Marvin! Only one thing's for sure. You guys Take a midnight run with Robert De Niro, Tuesday at 9.55 on BBC One. Relentless pressure leads to tragedy now on BBC One in John McCure's challenging and controversial drama, Cardiac Arrest.